This is the National Nan Fan breeding base in Hai Tang Bay, Sanya. Ji Chiang Dong and Liu Xu Yao are checking the crops. Every year, this is a restless month. They must tag and archive every rice species in the test plots before the typhoon comes. Ji Chang Dong works in very hot rice fields. He and his fellow researchers test tens of thousands of rice species to find out the most productive and strongest ones. Breeding is the core of hybrid rice study and a complicated, systematic work. To breed a species of good comprehensive performance, you must consider its yield, disease resistance, adaptability and taste. This is Sanya Nan Fan Research Institute in the lab of Tropical Rice Research Center. Ji Chang Dong and Liu Xu Yao are testing the rice quality. To figure out the quality, you must first know the quality indicators. Every time a new species comes, they make statistical study on dozens of data about the rice's length-wide ration, chalkiness and transparency. Fine seeds are collected and to be introduced to farmers. La Shou Village is one of Ji Chang Dong's first choices. La Xiao Village is now blessed with the aroma of rice, together with the golden plump spikes rustling in the breeze and promising an incoming good harvest. Thanks to his field instructions and modern technologies such as integrated disease control, villagers are surprised by the high yield compared with traditional production methods. The unit output value is over 3,000 yuan per mu now. Ji Jiang Dong and his teammates, all post-80s, give their best time to the land of Nanfan and have presented remarkable achievements. They developed high-quality, high-yield rice species suited to tropical regions and built up the whole process planting expertise. They helped Hainan enhance its breeding strengths and boost the tropical rice industry. Statistics show 80% of the scientists in Nanfan are young guys. They are the backbone researchers. More and more young rice researchers like Ji Chiang Dong and Tao Hong Tian are coming and bringing more and more Chinese elements to the whole world along the Belt and Road. <laughs>